such a sad situation. Now, some of the greatest contributors to Nigeria's historic development are members of the Ransom Kuti family from Abiyokuta, Ogun State. TVC's Bukola Samuel Wamimo chanced up on an old architectural masterpiece owned by Ransom Kuti family and reports on its current state. In 1931, clergyman and educationist Israel Uludotun Ransom Kuti was appointed the pioneer president of the newly formed Nigeria Union of Teachers, a position he held until his retirement in 1954. Israel's wife, Olufumilayo Ransom Kuti, was the first woman to drive a car in Nigeria. Regarded as the doyen of female rights, she was described in the West African pilot as the lioness of Lishabi, following her role in leading the Egba women on a campaign against arbitrary taxation. This ancient structure is located on Nepa Road in Ishabo, Abeokuta. Believe it or not, this building belongs to the family of late Afrobeat legend Fela Anikula Pokuti, built more than a century ago by his father and mother, late Reverend Israel Oludotun Ransom Kuti and Mrs. Olufumilayo Ransom Kuti. Now it is sad that when you arrive this tourist attraction of sorts, the state of abandonment and disrepair is evident. Built with marble and seemingly plastered with clay, it must have been the vogue at the time. Unfortunately, that is the only attraction to this structure, as everything from windows to doors and the surroundings are unkempt. Adebayo Yishao has resided in Ishabo since 1996. He is Dolupo Ransom Kuti's old neighbor the last occupant of the ancient duplex and daughter of Reverend Oludotun Ransom Kuti. Yishao claims the grandchildren of the Ransom Kuti visit the place now and again, and in fact did so in the company of the current governor, Ibikunle Amosu, during his first tenure. This suggests that the current government may have taken an interest in the building. Even Governor Amosu himself came here to inspect things and the local government chairman for okay. Abekuta South local government. This structure is by all standards a historical monument. Yishao confirms that it attracts visitors from across the globe. People used to come from all over the world to inspect and see things for themselves. Even some people, even when they are going to Uluma, they will branch. You think this structure is more than what is here? Dimeji Kayo Diadedeji is a journalist based in Abeokuta. He reported the neglect of the Ransom Kuti family house 10 years ago. He is disheartened that a decade later, the condition of the house has become worse. That period when I did the story, I discovered some tenants living in this house. They are the Igbo selling a booze. And I was made to understand that they just came from nowhere and started using the place. And nobody questioned them. Even after almost a decade, when I reported about this building, None of the Kutis, particularly the grandchildren, the likes of Yeni and uh, Femi, none of them turn up to come and do something about the home of their great grandparents. Another structure, older than the Ransom Kuti family house, not as popular but draws tourist attraction on a lower scale, is the Majakodumi family house in Itoku area. Built 103 years ago by accountant Adekunle Majekodumi, in whose honor the Adekunle Road in Iyaba is named. His grandson says the popular Adekunle was so wealthy that none of his properties will suffer neglect. He was an accountant, very wealthy in his lifetime. His children do not spend their money on maintenance of the house. They are appointed an executive board, which has taken responsibility for that. The culture of maintenance adopted by the Majakodumis suggests that some descendants have taken responsibility. One then wonders why the Ransom Kuti family house is in this state or why the Ogun state government hasn't demonstrated a commitment to tapping its tourism potentials. Efforts to get the official position of the Ogun state government on the matter had not yielded results as at press time. 
The special advisor to the Governor on Culture and Tourism, Mrs. Yewan Diamusho, turned down an interview with TVC after consenting to it earlier on phone. Her excuse was that she didn't realize it was a television interview. She offered to speak at an undetermined date, but text messages sent to her subsequently were not acknowledged. Perhaps the more critical question here is why have the Ransom Kuti descendants left their family house in such a sorry state? As well as children, his legacy alone is so huge for us as his kids to carry and maintain the dignity it requires. Keeping the museum, keeping the shrine, his albums, his fans, <laughs> worldwide. Lawyers, case here, case there. We are humans. I think it's embarrassing to Ogun State more than us. More than you. Because um, the house didn't just come like that. It was like that when my grandmother's kids were alive. Koye, Beko, Dolu, Fela. They didn't do anything about it. Even my father, Fela, Beko, what they've done for Nigeria. They've become Nigerian children now. Why can't Nigeria look at their house and say, look, this is a place of value. Let us do it all. There are about 14 descendants of Reverend Dotsun and Mrs. Fumilayo Ransom Kuti. Is it such a huge task to pull resources together, even if they don't have the resources to embark on an ambitious museum project proposed to the Ogun State Government? In the house, we have wooden stairs. They're virtually going to give way. Um, the cellar is totally gone. The floorboards are like a death trap. What are you going to renovate? You don't renovate those kind of houses. You have to do them up. We we're going to make it a museum. That would have cost about 100 million. To actually do the house up would have cost about 30 million. So we're looking for about 130, 150 million. Perhaps the debate here is whether or not the Ransom Kuti deserve the honor of a revamping of their ancient architecture to be funded from government purse. While they wait, the Ogun State government is yet to demonstrate any commitment towards the family's expectations. For now, the building continues to attract negative attention. Bukola, Samuel Wemimo, TVC News, Abeokuta, Ogun State.